morning guys what's up welcome back to another video today i thought i would spruce up my video a little bit and show you guys how i style my hair i am actually running out of ideas of what to film because i spend every single day stuck in my house and i'm just trying to create content that is interesting to watch so if you guys have any ideas please leave them below. This idea came from a subscriber, so I do listen to what you guys say and I totally take it into consideration when I'm planning out content for my vlogs. My content is not what it used to be. I am always at home, so I definitely need more ideas to make my vlogs interesting so that I'm not just showing the same things every day because let's be honest, it gets repetitive. So I showered and I blow dried my hair. This is kind of what it looks like after blow drying. If I let it air dry, it does have a little bit more texture to it, but when I blow dry it, it blow dries pretty straight. So, I am going to curl it. And my hair has been so, so, so healthy lately because I've been using personalized shampoo and conditioner from Function of Beauty. I already sprayed a heat protectant in my hair and before someone comes at me and tells me this isn't curling my hair, I am using a curling wand, but I'm essentially just putting waves in my hair. I don't want like a super thick curl. I just want like really flawless looking waves. So show you guys how I achieve that. It's honestly so simple. So I'm gonna be starting in the back and then moving forward. And because I don't want my hair to have like super defined curls, I am gonna be taking pretty big chunks and I'm not separating it like top and bottom because I just want it to look really loose and effortless. There's so many different ways to curl your hair, but this is what I've been doing. So I just take it down like this and then wrap it around, but I do try to keep it so that my hair is flat up against the barrel and then I leave the ends out, like as you can see. So now we wait like five seconds. I don't wait long at all. And then I let it go. Here's kind of what it looks like. I'll show you guys again. So I'm just gonna take another giant chunk. I even brush this one out a little. And we will go again. And then I just let it drop. And whenever I get to the front pieces, I like to start the curl a little bit further down so that way you're not like having curls right up against your face. So I do it like where my cheekbones are and down. So like right about here. And I'm going in the same direction for every single curl. And then I just wait a couple seconds and let it drop. And I'm trying to let it drop in my hand so that it can cool off a little bit while I let it go. And yeah, so this side is curled. I'll do the same thing and I'll be right back. Okay, so both sides are curled and now I'm just gonna start running my fingers through it because I want them to be really loose and broken up. <laughs> And then I'm just gonna spray a little bit of texturizing spray. It's not like hairspray, so it's gonna keep your curls like feeling soft and fluffy, not like sticky like hairspray does. And I'll link anything that I talked about in the video below like I always do. And this is the final result. Today's video is sponsored by Function of Beauty and this is a dream come true. I've wanted to try their products for so long. They're huge on social media and they're actually personalized shampoo and conditioner. And it's really cool because you can pick out ingredients that are for exactly what your hair is needing. Picking out your formula is super easy. You just go on on their website and fill out a two minute quiz outlining your hair type, hair goals, and personalized preferences. And then you get to choose the color and the fragrance. And my favorite part is that you get to have your name printed on the bottle. So it's completely made for you. I am trying really hard to start switching to better products. And Function of Beauty products have no parabens, sulfates, GMOs, or toxins. And they're also 100% vegan and cruelty free. So some of my hair goals were to strengthen my hair, lengthen my hair, and to fix split ends. And I honestly feel like it's done a good job at all of those my hair has been growing pretty quickly and it just visibly looks healthier it's soft and shiny and the products smell amazing you get to pick out everything that you want literally you get to pick out the colors of the shampoo the scent I picked the pink color and the orange and both of them are vanilla scented and they also offer other hair care products so I also got their hair mask this one is completely personalized as well and I use it about once a week and it's also really convenient getting your shampoo and conditioner online they have a subscription service so you never have to worry about remembering to go get shampoo and conditioner It'll come right to your door in a package. So if you guys want to check out Function of Beauty, you can go to the link in the description and you'll get 20% off your first order. And I want to thank Function of Beauty again for sponsoring today's video. So it is a little bit later and Chad came home from work. We ate breakfast together and now I am chugging my water because I got behind. I don't know how that happened, but we are catching up right now. If you guys haven't got on the Amazon water bottle trend, I will link it again today. There's been a couple of times where I didn't link it and I got some questions, so I will link it. I'm also going to link these bracelets because I get 
questions about these all the time. They're also from Amazon. They're these really cute gold star bracelets and it's like a set of three and I love them. I feel like they go with everything. And while we're on our Amazon trend, I'll do a little Amazon haul for you guys. I ordered a few things like last week and they just now came in because Amazon is prioritizing things that are higher in need right now, which I totally get. And I'm really glad that they're doing that. I know that they're slammed and then there's people like me who are online shopping, but we won't talk about that. So anyway, we got our Amazon package and I thought I would show you guys what I got. In all things hair and beauty, I got another heat stop styling tool and this is actually a hair crimper but it's quite a bit different than the super old raggedy one that I have. I have like a bedhead one that's pretty old but this one if I can get it out is like a beach waver style and it has it's pretty in pink and it has like this clamp like this so that way, like the one that I have now, you have to like clamp down and hold it while you're waiting for your hair to heat up. Whereas this one, you let go of it. So I know that's like a really minor thing, but I think it's gonna make a huge difference. Plus this is like three barrels and mine I think is only two, or it's like a little bit smaller. So I've seen a couple of bloggers talk about this, this is the brand like Allure um, and it's had like really good reviews so I will link it and maybe another hair tutorial coming soon with my beach waves if this thing works if not I'll totally send it back because believe me sometimes I get things on Amazon and they end up being a complete fail so let me be the one to figure out if this is worth it or not but it was pretty cheap so I'll be happy if this works out. And the other thing that I got is a new beauty vanity mirror thing. Um, I have one already that I loved and I have used since forever ago. It was actually from a brand deal like back in the beginning of the summer. So I guess not forever ago, but I've had it for a long time and it's honestly changed the game for me like using a vanity mirror to do my makeup instead of just a plain mirror without lights. Um, but it stopped taking a charge. So I was really bummed about that. Like I plug the thing in to charge it and it doesn't charge so it no longer lights up. So I've been using it without the mirror part. I have to keep it plugged in now in order to use the light on it. It just like doesn't hold a charge. So that really sucks. I'm pretty bummed about it, but I decided to order another one and this one had really good reviews and I like it because it's white and it has a little tray at the bottom so you can put like some jewelry or like sit things in it and then it's got the magnification part to it. Um, and I specifically picked this one because it's battery powered so I will not have to worry about having an issue with it not holding a charge. Uh, so hopefully this one lasts longer for me. I was really bummed about that. That is it from Amazon for the time being. Um, I am going to actually do a quick outfit of the day because I want to show you guys this really cute romper that I got from Miss Guided. And then we will move on to more important things like doing some homework and taking notes. More important things, but boring things. So here is the romper. It's from Misguided. It was on sale when I got it. Hopefully it's still on sale and in stock. Um, but yeah, I love it. It's like this distressed tie-dye look. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it was a little bit boxy on me until I cinched this at the waist. And it was also styled like this on the model. So I think if you guys got it, like definitely wear it with a belt or like a fanny pack like I am. It definitely makes it look a lot cuter. And then I paired it with my Steve Madden combat boots. Really wish I could wear this somewhere. That would be nice. So I have one master in chemistry homework assignment and then I have one thing I have to do for genetics and wow, I just can't believe how close to the end we are. This is my last study plan for chemistry from Melissa Maribel and then it's the final exam. So we are honestly almost done. I'm trying to finish strong guys. I just am so ready for this semester to be over with everything that's been going on. It's been really hard to focus on school. But here is the study plan for exam five. It's completely free to you. The link will be in the description if you guys wanna check out the videos to watch and the resources that go along with it. So if you're in Gen Chem one, this will help you a lot. I don't even know where the day went like it's so much later now but Chad is cooking dinner because I didn't <laughs> <laughs> I was going to help but I was in there doing homework for so long and then my brother called me and I was FaceTiming my mom and 
now I'm having one. So I just finished my genetics homework and that took me a lot longer than I was expecting and my grandma called me in the middle of it, but I finally finished it. And it was actually kind of interesting. It was like all about direct to consumer genetic testing. So like when people go to ancestry and stuff like that and like the benefits of it, I had to do like an arguing statement about it and then a statement of support for it. So it's pretty interesting. And I will tell you that this is the greatest resource of all time, genetics home reference. Anytime I'm doing anything for genetics, I use this website because it helps me so much. I can literally find everything I need for this class and read about it on here. And then obviously I use my book too, but this website really helps. I have been really enjoying my Pinot Grigio lately, just the Barefoot brand. It's so cheap and it's so good. Highly recommend. But if you're new to drinking wine, probably the Barefoot Riesling would be a good choice because it's very sweet. So it's easy to just kind of like introduce yourself to wine. But I definitely prefer white wine over red wine. And I know that red wine is like the more classy, professional wine choice. I feel like, but I like white wines better if I'm being honest. Yummy, some ground beef, some yellow rice, black beans. What's in here? Nothing. Uh, part of dinner. Never mind. <laughs> what are you eating? An up? appetizer. Oh, oh. leftover <laughs> sausage Oh, night. disregard. Like, just... <laughs> okay guys, so I got so much positive feedback the last time I showed some Animal Crossing gameplay, so I thought I would show you guys again since I have officially reset my island. And a lot of you guys asked me why I decided to reset my Animal Crossing game, and it was for a couple of reasons. I wanted to change my island's name, and I also wanted to switch from peaches to cherries, which I know you guys are probably like, why peaches are the best, and I thought that too, but for whatever reason, and I had the desire to switch to cherries but it was mostly because I wanted to change my island name and I didn't like the placement of my like map layout I wanted a different map layout um, I also ended up getting really good villagers once I switched like look at this got boots oh I'm about to unlock some more reactions so I spent like so much time the other night just going through and catching myself up and I had to do a little bit of time travel because obviously I reset. Yeah, I created this like little cherry orchard and my goal is to create a few of these for the other types of fruits and just have like a little bench in the middle. I just think it's cute. I'll show you guys my house. There's like really not much to it yet because like I said, I reset and this is only my second day since resetting. Here's what it looks like. There's really nothing yet. This isn't like how I want it to look. Obviously, I just haven't obtained anything yet. I just have the one room back here. I've done two home upgrades. So I've upgraded like this room to the bigger size and then I've unlocked like an extra bedroom. I got these really cute Monstera plants and I love those. And then I obviously had to get the skeleton thing because anatomy and physiology. Um, so yeah, my goal is to have like a white home with lots of brown furniture and greenery everywhere. It's kind of like the vibe I'm going for. So I'll show you guys my other villagers because I ended up building my, oh, hold on. So you guys saw boots. Wow, this bed is a lot nicer than mine considering I don't have one. Hey, sorry about the mess, but I ain't got no time to clean today. Making me some large cardboard boxes. One of the bugs in the floor whispered the DIY instructions in my ear while I was sleeping last night. So I gotta build it before I forget what it even is. Check it out, plans for some large cardboard boxes. I can teach you if you want. No thank you, I don't. Sorry, I got a lot going on. I don't know how much of this is even legal. Safety wise, I mean. <laughs> Let's play later. Wow, he's really cute. I like his character already. I really like the Islanders that are like unique and have funny things to say because I like a good laugh when I'm playing this. And this is Bubbles. Wow, her house is so cute. She's reading a book. I'm so happy you came. Oh, maybe I'll finally try to beat Super Shrimp Gumbo Pro. This could be the week. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I'm just like casually sitting at her desk, don't mind me. So there's so much that I still have to do with my town. It's a work in progress. As you can see, I literally still have weeds everywhere. And that's the thing about resetting your town. You have to just like start from scratch, but it's so worth it because now my island name is Kopari, which is what I really wanted. <laughs> oh, neither of these two villagers are home. This is Agnes and that other house right next to it's Boots. But I have another villager down here. I am so glad that the whole bunny day thing is over with because, oh, here she is. They say you shouldn't start your day without a plan, but they also say plans are a fool's errand, so... What? 
that's her problem. She's actually really cute. I do not have enough, enough, enough miles tickets for all of this. I still haven't unlocked the Able Sisters shop yet. Oh yay, I have a new task. We are going to go find a spot for my campsite. I have no idea where I want this campsite because I don't know what to expect of it, but basically the general layout, um, as you can see on my map, eventually I'm gonna relocate my house from here all the way up to the top where the, the river splits. Um, so it'll be like my own like personal island up at the top over there. And then my goal was to have like this as resident services and then come down here and then I have Nook's Cranny over here. And then I just wanted to have like this entire row just be lined up with like, the Able Sisters and all of the other shops. So I don't know if the campsite should go there too, but I figure we see what they have today. Oh, well, we have a magic kit, an electrical kit of some sort, it looks like. Why do they follow me? It makes me so nervous. See, the problem is I don't know what some of this stuff means. Like what is this Wildest Dreams DIY? Should I buy it? It's very expensive, so probably not. Should probably look up what that means first. Okay, so I am definitely gonna have to do some thinking before I make any decisions about where I'm going to put my campsite. Gonna have to do some research to see like what everybody else has done. I just don't know like what to expect of this. What is it gonna look like? See, I still have all these random eggs laying around my island because I was so tired of Bunny Day that I just didn't even care. I think I crafted a few things. Obviously, I crafted my outfit and I need to change out of it because bunny day's over. I just saw a bug crawling by. Oh, there it is. Do you see it? Where'd he go? <gasps> I've never seen that one before. Okay. He's hiding. Yes. A tiger beetle. I've caught that before. It looked different. The wine just hit me and now I'm tired. So I think I'm gonna go take my makeup off, wash my face and lay down, watch some Ozark cause Chad and I still haven't finished season three yet and then get some sleep. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And if you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.